my name is Susanna Basso and I come from Italy. I've been a professional translator for 25 years now and this is my fifth BCLT seminar. Um, it has always been such a wonderful experience that coming back always brings great expectations which are always fulfilled. Um, uh, this year uh, we've been working on a very special piece of writing by Naomi Alderman. I say very special because she actually wrote this text for us for the BCLT seminar and that made an enormous difference because the text was um, just short enough uh, to allow us to complete the translation in the course of the seminar and it was subdivided into different sections which were different so we, we had a chance to work on different languages and that was really great. The whole process of translation I think it's um, like lying in the transitive form. You do not lie about something, you lie something. You lie a novel for example and to do that you need um, a long time, you need a lot of patience and possibly a good sense of humor because no matter how, how well, how good you are at lying, you know that <coughs> people will always want the truth and that's the final truth about lying. <laughs> people want the truth and you're only providing the best lie you can on the text. <laughs> Well, so many things are unique about this experience. First of all, of course, it's the possibility of relying on the source that you would like to have all the time, which is the author and uh, a very special um, presence, not only because they are authors, but because they are ready to answer any question they are at our disposal anytime we need them. So that's very special. And then, of course, the the energy, the intellectual energy that you have in a room where 15 people are trying to solve the same problem, no matter what problem it is, whether it's physics or translation, it's a fantastic thing that you never have at home when you are the only, the only mind trying to solve the same, the same number of problems. Sometimes you don't, even, you don't even find the problems when you are alone. 15 people solve many problems and find 15 times uh, as many problems as just one, so that's really unique. Um, I think what I, I, I think is very important is to find um, some conf it's well the whole process of translating is a balance between self-confidence and trust um, and you have to trust the author in the sense that give the author um, re acknowledge that this is what th where you want to go. That's the goal is the beginning, and at the same time you have to acknowledge your presence in the in the process, and so have enough self confidence to instead of hiding yourself at the time knowing that you were there, no matter how much you try to be invisible, your words will be the words that you lend the author. And those words come from a long personal history of studying, of living in another country, in another culture, so self-confidence in your own possibilities of actually um, giving something, not only working on it. So I hope they get this impression more than and they came. Um, it's not always easy because, of course, uh, as soon as you start finding words, to it's so difficult that when you have the, uh, the impression that you have found the word you want, then it's very hard to let it go if 14 other people think that it's not the right word. So it is not always easy, but as I, I told them, I think that you can rely on the fact that no matter how much you let go, the final translation will be better 
than the one that you would have done on your own because of the contributions of all these in intelligences around you. So uh, it is hard to let go, but uh, it's a good practice for, I mean, even for your relationship with editors, when they send you your translation corrected, it's uh, so hard to accept uh, what has been done on your words. So I think this is. In this respect, I think, I lately think I've become a bit too old to give advice. Uh, you would generally think the opposite, uh, the older you get. But uh, as a matter of fact, I think that uh, the world I started working in, in translation, was so different that I sometimes feel um, uh, embarrassed telling contemporary students, you should try <coughs> to do this and that, because I know that it's much more difficult today than it was when I started. I started at the university, and well, I, I cannot say that it was easy, but it was definitely easier than it, what it would be today. So I don't really feel entitled to give advice besides, of course, um, saying that no matter how hard it is, it is worth, because the, it's a wonderful, it's a really a wonderful, art, a wonderful job and a wonderful art. So, but uh, besides this, I think I was, it, it was too easy for me to reach, for example, publishing houses from university. And today the barriers are so many more than they used to be. Oh, uh, every single word. I think translation is a very democratic experience. There is, it's not, um, you don't, it's not like uh, anthologizing literature. When you translate, you translate from the first word to the last word. There is no great scene in a novel. I mean, every single page has the same way in terms of uh, what a translator must do. Uh, and so the challenges are in little words, in great ideas, everything is a challenge. Even apparently simple sentences may hide tricks that might stop you for a whole afternoon on a pronoun that you want to insert. But then if you, for example, in, in Italian, if you use subjects, they would steal the stage to other words, so everything can be a challenge. <laughs>